the sanctified life, Paul's shout of victory. The Apostle Paul was highly honored of God, being taken in a holy vision to the third heaven, where he looked upon sins whose glories he was not permitted to reveal. Yet this did not lead him to boastfulness or self-confidence. He realized the importance of constant watchfulness and self-denial and plainly declares, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27 Paul suffered for the truth's sake, and yet we hear no complaints from his lips. As he reviews his life of toil and care and sacrifice, he says, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8 verse 18 The shout of victory from God's faithful servant comes down the line to our time. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 35 to 39 Though Paul was at last confined in a Roman prison, shut away from the light and air of heaven, cut off from his active labors in the gospel, and momentarily expecting to be condemned to death, yet he did not yield to doubt or despondency. From that gloomy dungeon came his dying testimony, full of sublime faith and courage that has inspired the hearts of saints and martyrs in all succeeding ages. His words fitly describe the results of that sanctification which we have in these pages endeavored to set forth, I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 The Sanctified Life Chapter 11 The Christian's Privilege